And look at that. Rebound. Let's rebound that basketball, baby. Get that Hornlock Will for absolutely free. Next turn. Rebound. And that's crazy. I mean, that is absolutely absurd. We just get a Hornlock Will completely for free. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man of Man. And today, we've got a juicer for it. We've got Rebound. That is right. Let's start off with Ogier Pekpanic. That is right. This thing is the legendary creature god. Whenever you cast an instant spell from your hand, it gains rebound. Now that is absolutely amazing because obviously we have these uh, these adventures. Whenever you play these, you have the option. When you rebound, you can play either the instant again for free or you can play the creature. Now that is kind of crazy here. If you have a hornlocked whale and you get to like uh, bounce something or not bounce, I guess technically you, you remove something from play. We're just going to call it that. Pretty much de facto spot removal, and then you just drop a big horn locked whale for absolutely free. It feels pretty freaking broken. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, we are a little bit low in the departments, so we don't really want to totally focus on that. But we do have the grabby giant for the creature token. Now, typically, you're gonna be able to play this on turn two to ramp up into our pack paddock. That is gonna be typically the way you want to use this. But then from there, then the world's your oyster. Then you got the heart flame duelist. We deal three damage to any target, then you can drop instant and sorcery spells you control, have lifelink. There's a, a few different ways that we can gain life. We do have Quintorius. Now, I absolutely love Quintorius. They did him absolutely correct by making him a mythic planeswalker. I think he was like an uncommon in the last one, but... Whenever you cast a spell from exile, deal two damage, gain two life, three, two red creature tokens, discover, and then you remove your ex um, exile your graveyard and get a bunch of mana. That's really, really nice. But what's really nice about Quintorius is you deal two damage and gain two life. Now, when you drop the Virtue of Courage, and again, this is all synergized because the Heart Flame Duelist is dealing damage, Quintorius is dealing damage, Virtue of Courage deals damage, and then whenever it comes back, whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to opponent, you may exile that many cards um, from the top of your library. You may play those this turn. Now, it doesn't come up a whole lot because I feel like by the time this happens, you pretty much won or lost the game, but there are certain grindy matchups where Virtue of Courage, you drop this, and then Quintorius is hitting them for two, plus whatever else you got, and then the Virtue of Courage allows you to dig deeper into your deck. It's really, really neat. Uh, Wondering Emperor, you know, just aggro's everywhere, so we just got to keep that. Extraordinary Journey, this card is really, really good. This card has a two drop, so whenever you have Quintorius, if you go for Discover 4, you're going to be able to get an Extraordinary Journey. Now, you don't get to remove anything because it's X, but you do get, um, whenever you play another creature from Exile, you do get to draw, which is really, really nice. And last but not least, we got Expel the Interlopers, just because it is a, 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 we do play things on the board. So if they have like something crazy here, yeah, we could have like a giant, we could have our Pepatic out here. But if they have like big dinos, we use Expel the Interlopers, and then we get to pick and choose who lives and who dies. So it's really, really nice. But oh yeah, and then a virtue of loyalty, because we have courage and loyalty. So that's the deck here. Oh, we do have all the, uh, the, the, the mana base here is really, really wild. I did not go for Field of Ruin just because I don't think that we stand a, a chance versus Control anyway. So I just kind of omitted that. I think we're more of like a mid-range deck at heart. So this is the deck. We got to rebound that basketball. And hopefully we're going to rebound some wins. Go ahead and leave me a like. The button looks just like this. Helps out the channel tremendously. Consider joining the channel. That would really help me financially as a content creature. Content creature? Content creator? And go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. DV Angel, howdy, howdy, ho, how are we doing here? All right, let's go ahead and keep this. It is a little nerve wracking having the deserted beach in the forge. It's only a two land hand, but with the giant, the giant does give us treasure token. So I think without the giant, I would mulligan here, but we're just going to roll the dice here. So Murpho, okay, I want to see if we're going against Murfolk or Mono Green, I guess we'll see. I would love to get the coast down, but we need a red source for this giant, so let's go ahead and just do that. Um, yeah, I have a bone to pick. I have a bone to pick. I think that with Contorius, I don't think there's a, any voice line with Contorius. I'm a little salty about that. I don't, there's only one Planeswalker, but... Alright, let's go for the grabby giant. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a treasure here so that we can ramp up into our lovely blue god here. And Pukpat, Pukpatic, I think it's how you pronounce it. If it is not, feel free to make fun of me into the comments. But yeah, let's see. We got our lovely god here. We got our rebound, our rebound enabler. Once you start rebounding the stuff, it just gets so silly. Topiary Stomper, this is looking pretty good. Obviously, we want this thing to survive, but even if it doesn't, we still get the land here, so... Deserted Beach is looking pretty good, and now I think I think we're just gonna swing in. Worst case scenario, we go for Heart Flame Duelist, and now we get our rebound action going. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, if we hold up four, they're probably assuming that we have Wandering Emperor, so they probably won't attack. So we're probably not gonna get into our Hornlocked Whale. 
Tribute to the World Tree. I don't think that's that big of a deal. They want to get something nice and big. Um, glimpse the core. So they're ramping up. All right, so we're going to have to be quick quick and timely about whatever. Oh, they do. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and do the Hornlocked Whale. And look at that. Rebound. Let's rebound that basketball, baby. Get that Hornlocked Whale for absolutely free. Next turn. Rebound. And that's crazy. I mean, that is absolutely absurd. We just get a Hornlocked Whale completely for free. I mean, it's literally absurd. That's literally absurd. All right, let's swing in here. And do we want to go for the Giant, or do we want to just go for the Heart Flame Duelist? I think we're going to go for Heart Flame Duelist, just because that is more mana efficient. Especially if you get to rebound it, so let's just do that. And the thing the thing that I love about the Adventures, obviously getting being able to play them for the creature is nice, but with the Heart Flame Duelist, I think I might just hit them... I might hit them in the face twice. I think that's going to be what I do. Tribute to the World Tree, that's fine. All these things are going to be big, which is cool. These things are also lands, right? So the token lands. I think they're a little bit a little bit too late, though. Heart Flame Duelist. This reminds me of the Flaming Swordsman from Yu-Gi-Oh. If you know, you know, baby. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and get Rebound. Let's go and rebound that. And like I said, I think, I mean, we don't have to cast it for the creature. We can cast, yeah, we can just hit them in the face again. And because the board's getting a little scary, I think we're going to do that. Extraordinary Journey is pretty decent. We could do that or go for the Grabby Giant. Um, I'm... Do I want to... No, let's not. Because if they're going for Stomper and one, that's a pretty bad trade. They keep the Stomper back, so it's not attacking with the Whale. I guess we could go for the extra... I guess we could go for Journey, but I, I don't know. I think... Yeah, because I'm not I don't really want to use this on the Stomper anyway. Let's go ahead and do this. Just take out one of the tokens here. Maybe slow them down a little bit. I don't know if they're going to, like, play two huge things. They're going to play one huge thing, that's for sure. Another Stomper, that's fine. That's fine. We have Lethal in the air, and we actually have Lethal with Quintorius, because if we use the, the, the minus three, Gruff, this thing doesn't have reach, right? These things just have trample, right? Tribute to the World Tree. I mean, yeah, this is cool. If you had, if you had like, one more turn, I'd be really nervous, but we were gonna, I think we're going to be able to beat you. And they just scoop it up. GG's. Ukraine wins. How you doing here? I I hope everything is going well in that part of the world, my friend. I really do. Um. All right. I think this is a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Oh, that's a mulligan. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and give them the friendly mulligan. Hello. Uh, a little catch twenty two here because they are playing mono red, but I'll still give them the friendly mulligan. Hello. Everyone needs a friend when you take a mulligan. So we are running emperor. I think we'll be okay. Hopefully, Scalding Viper. This card's interesting. I well, if you're not running, is it? I think Scalding Viper is not good. So let's see if they if they have that going on for them. We of course have Virtue of Loyalty that we're gonna go ahead and trade, but Mechanized Warfare. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, that's fine. Virtue of Loyalty is gonna trade with the Scalding Viper. They are gonna sting us for one. Oh, we okay. Hold on. Um, that was a, that was an oopsie. We we should have cast that before the Mechanized Warfare because the Scalding Viper tapped us for one extra damage there so that was a big oopsie on my part whoopsie either way i think i still we're fine uh let's see what else they have i think i am probably gonna chump block the virtual loyalty depending on what they play here that was that i cannot i cannot believe that i didn't drop that before the mechanized warfare that's such a such an obvious thing let's go ahead and wake up we got the gengar mug you know we're grinding out here early mornings we gotta wake up all right let's let's take that i, I don't care that's fine there's no way they don't have the monstrous rage, so that's not just even. That's not even. Oh, stolen vitality. Okay, stolen vitality. That card's really good. Plus three, plus one, and then it gives it um, trample. So we're down to six. Could have been down. We could have had seven. So I do feel kind of dumb about that. But as long as we have the emperor here, I think we're fine. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I guess there is a world where they go for double lightning strike, and I probably should just em use the Emperor. No, nah, that that, that's too fancy. They're going to swing in. They're going to swing in. Come on. Don't be crazy. If I end up losing this by one, because I didn't cast that before the mechanized warfare, I'll, be, I'll feel so stupid. So we could go for Emperor here and uh, plus one, the, the token, because it only does two. But then we don't gain life, potentially. So I think we're going to take it, go down to four, and a lightning strike... It's just GG, so that that would um ooh, that would be really rough. But nevertheless, they do go in for this lightning strike. Okay, so why they should have just li lightning struck immediately, right? Because now, because we have the wandering emperor, we have the opportunity to, to gain the life here, and then we go down to one. 
So, they misplayed, I misplayed, it all evened out. We're down to one. I don't know if we're going to be able to live this. And this is what's kind of crazy about this. We have all this pain land. And that's what's really bad. Like, all this pain is not good. It's tempting to go for Wandering Emperor to plus one it, just so that we could, like, gain life potentially. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I think... I think we're just going to have to create a, a Trump Blocker. And this is, this is already... This is going very bad. The only thing that makes me feel a little bit better is we got one extra damage here, but we opened it down to two. So I hate to say it... Oh, Flame Breather. Okay, it was, I was going to say, it was, it's either they draw into a... They either draw a burn spell or they don't. I mean, it's really that simple. We, we don't have anything else really going for us. Quintorius does let us gain life here, so that's nice. Let's go for Quintorius. And again, let's go. Quintorius, I gotta love you, buddy. I'm glad they did you well here. And Extraordinary Journey is not exactly the best thing, but it's okay. It's not exactly the best thing in this, in this particular um, matchup, but that's okay. Again, if they have if they have a burn spell, they just have it. Like that's just all there is to it. So if they draw into a burn spell, or I guess even a Phoenix Chick wouldn't be lethal. I don't know if they're running Phoenix Chick if they're going with a with Flame Breather though. We got we gotta just start gaining life with Contorius. That's gonna be like how are we getting back into this game? Come on, do you, don't don't please don't please do not do this. Don't have like a like a play of fire and you're just sitting there playing with yourself while you have to play with fire and they just pass the turn okay okay um okay so oh oh oh, oh god that's so dumb of me why did i why did i do that why not just play the shivan reef instead of going for the anchorage the anchorage comes in tapped and it doesn't it's not a pain land that was dumb Gain a little bit of life here. I gotta, I gotta drink some more coffee. I gotta, I gotta wake up. These, that's two misplays. I can only get one misplay per video. That is, that's not acceptable. It, it, again, I am nervous. I'm super nervous here. If they just draw into any burn spell, I guess we we don't even survive play with fire because the flame breather fires two, and then the warfare is another one. I think I probably would deserve it in all honesty. I'm still gonna hold out hopes and keep my head up high, but I think I probably deserve it from the misplays. Oh gosh, this is pretty much the game right here. Again, I don't know why. Oh my god, I cannot believe I didn't drop this anchorage. I mean, if they don't have it though, I don't think it's gonna matter. Don't think it's gonna matter too much. If they would have had it, they would just. I think they would just play it down at the speed of light. They can't be that afraid of make disappear. No one plays counter spells anymore. There's another Quintorius. Okay, let's drop the anchorage now. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm gonna go for virtual loyalty. Again, though, I'm not, like, if they have the, the, if they have the play with fire or whatever, they just have it. So let's go ahead and gain our life. And now we put them out of play with fire range. We're still in, we're still in lightning strike range. You have vigilance, so I'm going to go ahead and swing in here. But we're still in, we're still in, um, lightning strike range, though. The, the flame breather, warfare, lightning strike does, is lethal. All right. All right, this virtual loyalty is nice, but again, now we're okay. Now we can we can breathe a little bit easily because we don't have to worry about play with fire. A lot of red decks don't run lightning strike, but as you can see from the top of their graveyard, there they actually are running it. And this we're looking like we're we're gonna steal this. Looking like we're gonna steal this. Probably don't deserve the win, but that's okay. We will take it either way. And can we can we just go for lethal here? We have yeah, I think we actually have we have lethal right. Let's go for the Anchorage. We're going to make a map token with this thing. And the Restless Spire? Okay. Restless Spire is so cheap. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even realize that. Why do they... Why do they... Why do they tap my Restless Anchorage? For auto-tap. I didn't even realize that. Alright, this is the sloppiest game of all time. I... Oh my gosh. I guess that's on me. I mean, I, I gotta pay the, the pain. That would put us into... Sh but maybe not. Maybe the, maybe the auto-tapper's... Maybe the auto tapper knows that they have play with fire and the pain land would put me in the lethal territory. So maybe a blessing in disguise. And we just take it. That was a pretty slow. We could have played Contorius for more life gain. Sloppy match, but uh, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. All right, let's see if we can go super sane on this, on this person. Let's see what you're saying here. Oh, lore keeper. All right, so dinos, that's what you're saying. Not a big deal here. Um, I'm going to, I am kind of testing out Pia. 
I think, I think Pia can, Pia, Pia, I don't know, again, I, I can't pronounce anything on this, on this page, but Pia or Pia is pretty good in this game. I think if you're going to be running her, I think you kind of have to have like the Mistress Foundry thing, because we don't have a whole lot of way to just play like a million different things. I think it's, so, let's see, got the Hammer Skull here. Yeah, I think this is okay. I'm not sweating too hard yet. I mean, we do have a Ganjo, so I think this is actually pretty good. We can just go ahead and down, play down the Anchorage. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, I, I guess we, we can block with the, the Pia as well. I mean, we are a legendary. Let's just go ahead and do this, and then we'll be able to... If they don't get rid of Pia, we can just go for a Ganjo. But if they, got rid of, if they got rid of our creature here, then we can't a Ganjo this huge Hammer Skull anyway, so it doesn't matter. Firstborn. Okay, that's good. They could have had a land, and then I would have been really, really upset because they could have just dealt their damage. It's not fighting, it's dealing their damage. So, with the baby Gashath. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. I mean, I, I we're gonna have to just give up. And let's go for the Aganjo here, just so that we can trade effectively here. We have plenty of land, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, okay, we trade there, and that's that's key. Because we had to get rid of that Hammer Skull there. A 6-6 six, six is way too big for us to deal with, typically. A Lore Keeper. Okay, we do have this Consuming Tide. But we also just can drop... Hmm, I don't think Consuming Tide's that good. Consuming Tide's best when you can have something on the battlefield. But they also miss their land drop, so... It, mm, it is tempting, but I think we're just going to go ahead and drop a uh, Patik. The deepest of the deep. And, yeah, because we have the Hard Flame Duels, is pretty good. They do drop our, their third land, but if we can really screw them over on land... Well, let's see if they drop something crazy here. Because they have... Hulking Raptor. Okay, yeah, I, mean, I would say it's semi-crazy. That's semi-crazy. It's within the realm of what we can handle. We have we still have Quintorius, so I think we're probably I think we're just gonna go for the yeah, this is not sexy. I mean it is kinda sexy, it's kinda sexy. Let's just kill the, the Hulking Raptor. Yeah, and then we get to rebound. This is pretty good actually. I don't, I don't know why I'm being so pessimistic for. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then we get to rebound the, the hard point duels. I just had that consuming mind and or consuming tide is consuming my mind. So let's go ahead and swing in here. I think they if they have like Gashath or uh, Galta, Bramble Familiar is not that bad. If they keep playing these mana dorks here, the consuming tide's gonna be really, really worth it. Yep, so Heart Flame Slash. And I think we could man, we could actually. Do we want to deal to their face? I think, I mean, again, that's always the the, 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 the thing with the flame swordsman. With the flame swordsman, you. If you're like me, I grew up on Yu-Gi-Oh, so I, I, I make some, uh, Magic is by far the superior game, but I have to make a few Yu-Gi-Oh comments so much, just because I think there would be no Man of Man if I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. So, okay, let's go for you. We could get a little bit of life gain this way, and I'm, I'm putting the Consuming Tide on the rocks, but I think we're okay to do that. There is another world, I mean, we had to kind of, like, decide, do we want to go for Consuming Tide, or do we want to go for the board? If they're not playing anything crazy... Hulking Raptor, I wouldn't consider that that crazy. We still have... We still have the Anchorage, and they're just swinging in on Quintorius. That's pretty crazy. I'm gonna let this go. You just tapped out, my friend. My friend, you just tapped out. If we if we just let this go... I mean, we, we just... Yeah, I mean, we're obviously gonna do that, but... I mean, Quintorius isn't, like, that important here, right? No, this is, this is game, right? You're completely tapped out. And a Virtue of Courage. Okay, Virtue of Courage is one of my favorite adventures in this deck. When you get that thing going, it is just crazy. But I think this is just lethal. We have four in the air. They can only block. We have, well, we have six in the air with this. And they can't block both these things. And this is just going to be lethal. Even if we didn't have Virtue of Courage. So that, that swinging into Quint I understand Quintorius is notorious for causing havoc. But uh, you just tapped out, my friend. And that is going to be GG's. And they don't even know that we have the Virtue of Courage with pack fatigue and we're gonna be able to uh just go and they just give it up but ggs hey lee h how the hell are you let's go ahead and keep this looking good we got the grabby giant got some virtue of courage i do want the virtue of courage kind of get some love here if you get the virtue of courage down and quintorius you just get to dig so deep into your deck and it just gets absolutely crazy so we're gonna go against a mono yeah mono red is still kind of pretty i don't want to say it as a dominant of a strangle hole on the meta but it's still a good deck so Still gonna see it plenty, and you gotta be prepared for it. And I mean, I'm tempted to just go for Virtue of Courage now, but let's let's just wait. Let's let's wait and see if they want to do something. 
Oh, okay, this is actually good. Bloodthirsty Adversary. If they double swing in here, I mean, this is just easy pickings. We're actually going to go for Virtue of Loyalty rather than the Virtue of Courage. And then we're just going to pick off the Swift Spear. Yeah, that's easy money. You cannot, you can't tap out like that, my friend. No way. Alrighty. Yeah, pretty easy. We have to do a Vigilance, so we might as well swing in here. You know, a little bit awkward. A little bit awkward here, just because the, the Giant can't really do anything here, but... They want to do any monstrous rage nonsense. We can deal with that with the virtue of courage. Otherwise, I think we're just gonna make a treasure token. Hmm. I think you know. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll just trade. I don't. I don't really care. We'll trade if you have any tricks up your sleeves. We'll just take care of you. Monstrous rage. Let's go ahead and hit you with the virtue of courage. Hopefully, they don't have another monstrous rage. Um. Hope. No. Come on. Do you have another monstrous rage? Okay, play with fire is a lot better. Another monstrous rage would have been really annoying. Oh, oh yeah, but okay, we're good. We are good here, and yeah, not nothing really too crazy to do right now. I guess we could actually. I'm not even gonna make it. We have five land here, so I'm actually just gonna drop the giant to hopefully trade with a Kamanu. I think yeah, I think it's actually not often do I just drop the the giant, but I think in this case we're actually good to do it. So yeah, squee, and they swing in here. Yeah, let's just pick this off. We can take the three. We're only down to 13. That's not that bad. Restless Spire would be nice. I, I do like that over... Well, we don't even have to take Pain for the Reef here. And we just go for Contorius, so... Yeah, that's fine. I think I think we're fine to do this. Yeah, let's go for Contorius. And I think we're just going to go ahead and discover really quick. Just because of what we get the life gain here. Hello, Contorius. Well, I mean... I don't know. We have 13 life. Do we really need that? I think we'd rather establish our board here a little bit. Let's say, yeah, I think, I think if I was at, like, you know, like, 7 life or something, I think I would discover. But if we can just make 3 twos, like, it's fine. 1-1. One, one. This is fine. As long as you're attacking Quintorius and not my face, eventually we're just going to win the War of Attrition here. Play with Fire. Ooh, yeah, Play with Fire does suck because the, the tokens are only coming with 2 toughness, so... Maybe I, um, a Witch Soccer Frenzy. Okay, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have discovered. Because now we're down to 12. Now I'm sweating. Oh my goodness. At least with Extraordinary Journey, we can kind of get him up a little bit. Ooh. Should I, should I have discovered with Pintorius? Okay, let's go for Extraordinary Journey. I guess we'll get rid of you. The, that token goes away forever, so that's kind of nice. We don't want the Kamano to come back. That's not good <laughs> for one that just comes back and it's just uh, pretty brutal so squee we do get the draw hopefully we do get something here Ooh, more land Ooh, now we're sweating now we're definitely sweating here um another extraordinary journey okay i think we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing or do we drop the storm carved coast uh we're gonna have to take one life here but i want to get the restless spire down so I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we shouldn't have done that. We did take one extra life. They're gonna go put down to Squee. I think we just, I just think we just lose, right? It's another Squee. We did, yeah, you're gonna deal five damage to us. I guess we, yeah, we shouldn't have paid the life there for the thing, but I think we just got outran. Eh, oh well. Michael, how we doing? How we doing here? I like the, I think it's Michael. I believe so, but Michael, I, I hope that's your right name. We're gonna go give you a friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a friend. When you take a mulligan, those things suck. So, all right, looking pretty, pretty meh here. I mean, I don't love two landed hands, but I am running 27 land. So, I, I don't know. We should be okay. Guess we'll see. Drop Battlefield Forge and, you know, get a little sweaty here, but that's fine. We got some removal. Unless we're playing against, like, True Blue Control, I would be a little bit nervous. I, I, have, I have been stingy. I feel like lately, lately I have been a little bit more stingy on not wanting to mulligan. But I guess we'll pay the price if that comes to be. Yeah, I guess we could go for this. But we might as well just get the Virtue of Loyalty down. Do this. And we do get a Deserted Beach. So thankfully, we're looking okay in that department. And I think we're going to wait on the Archivist here. Before we drop the Virtue of Courage. We also have, like the Hornlocked Whale. I think we'll be okay. This is like, what is like, um... Ooh, Simulacrum. Okay, Simulacrum is pretty good here. Let's see if they put if they, if they just go all in on the archivist. They're not, unfortunately. So plus two. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just go ahead. I guess we'll hit the archivist. This thing gets bigger and bigger with time. 
This thing is just like a more like a one trick pony. Plus, it can't attack the turn. I think it's okay. Oh, look at that. We're good. We don't have our land drop, but we also have like the Heart Flame Duelist. Because they're playing green, I'm gonna do this right now. I don't know if they're running like uh, you know any sort of like royal treatment or Tybar stand. So I think we're just gonna play this at sorcery speed. Not sexy, but it's fine. And if they play anything super, oh lizard blades, really lizard blade. Lizard blades is a cool card. This card needs more love. I always try to make sure I play lizard blades in like my equipment decks. It's been a hot second, but I definitely have shown a lot of love to lizard blades in the past. So let's see what you do with it. Giving everything double strikes really cool. Okay, audacity. I mean that that is that is um, a worthwhile worthy thing here. I guess we're gonna do this again. They only have that Mishra's foundry, so again, I don't really want the green open for potential protection. Looking pretty good here, though. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Teething Worm, yeah, you can kind of tell they're more like a cheap, more like aggro deck rather than like drop something crazy. Simulacrum, that's okay. This thing's gonna go away. Up to 4-4, not a big deal here. I'm gonna let this go. We're not gonna trade. This thing gets exiled anyway. And then we have a Hornlock Whale. <laughs> I guess we kind of deserve it for not playing the, the land there, but um, we could go for the Flame Swordsman. Or we can just keep back the Hornlock Whale. It's not as mana efficient, but this thing's gonna get bigger and bigger, so I think we're gonna go ahead and take away the Whale. Patchwork Automation, okay. Okay. Uh, Kami's Flare, that's fine. They're gonna do a little bit of damage to our face. Eh, that's fine. If they want to swing in here, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and get the Hornlock Whale. They can get it back. If they, even if they put this on top of the library, that's fine. Because it's just gonna come back as a little weeny little 1-1 one -one again. And it actually does not help out the automation, because it's not an artifact itself. So, I don't really mind this at all if they want to put it back on the top. I would think they don't. Let's see what they do. Typically, we want to have our um, our god out here before we go for that. Thankfully, we do get into our fourth land, but... Um, what do we do here? I mean, we can't really go for the Extraordinary Journey. I think we're just going to drop a uh, pack peek tick, and we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay here. We're going we're gonna to survive. We don't have any of our adventures to play with free. Well, that's okay. Like They're already already played and exiled, but whatever. Let's go for Quintorius. If we get Quintorius and Virtual Courage... Ooh. Okay, that's not great, but then we go for Quintorius, and then we go for Virtual Courage. Quintorius, and every time you play something with Virtual Courage, it does two damage with Quintorius, and then you get to exile you at the top of your deck. It's really, really neat. I, I, I did it when I uh, played, was playtesting, but of course, whenever you play in, in the, in the, for the real deal, it's never as good, but dropping the Hornlock Wheel is going to be, oh, they just scoop. Wow. Okay. 